Okay, let's try to solve this recurrence relation, right? So we want to solve it. So the easiest way, if you can remember the extended master's theorem that we have seen, right? This is the whole extended master's theorem on in one page, right? So now let's look it up. So what is it in form of? This is A. So A equal to 1, right? B equals to 3. So this is A. This is B. And what do we have here? Just theta of n, right? What, what, what does it mean? I have k equals to 1. What does it mean? It means I have k equals to 1 and p equals to 0, right? I have p equals to 0. It satisfies all of these conditions, right? Because I don't have the log n term here and k equals to 1. So now, now let's look it up. What is the first, first comparison that you have to make? A and b par k, right? So what is A? A is 1. What is b par k? b par k is 3, right? b power k is 3. So now what do we have? A to be less than b par k, right? This is the case that we are in. So A is less than b par k, okay? Which means we are in this case. Now let's see whether p is greater than or equal to 0 or less than 0, right? What do we have? We have p equals to 0. Right? The moment you have p equals to 0, what do you have? You have this form. right? So let's write down this form. What do we have here? So my t of n. So I just basically said, given these values of a, b, k, p, which case does it fall in and what is my answer? So my answer here should be theta of n par k, theta of, theta of n par k. What is k? k is 1, right? log n par p. My p is 0. So this can be ignored. So what do I have? I have theta of n. That's it. Very, very simple. Of course, you can solve this. You can solve this recurrence relation multiple ways, right? You can actually apply your recursive tree, your, your recursion tree method. You can use substitution. You can solve this problem multiple ways. But if you can remember, if you can remember the master theorem or the extended master theorem, you can simply, or if you, I mean, if you can remember it, it's, you can actually solve this problem in like three seconds, right? Especially in an examination setting. Right. If, if you're in an examination setting, right, just having this, remembering this, again, it's not, it's not rocket science. You know, what are all the terms? You just compare A and B par K and based on, in the case of two, whether P is equal to minus one, greater than minus one or less than minus one. In the case of three, it is basically zero, uh, less than, greater than equal to zero or less than zero. Very simple case. So if you can remember the extended version of master's theorem solving these problems is that especially in an examination setting is 30 seconds because doing the whole recursion tree based method might take slightly more time.